Hey, my beautiful Sagittarius. Welcome to Swift Intuitions. If this is your first time on my channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification button if anything resonates. And if this is not your first time on my channel, hey, family. Now, y'all, I have put some curls in my hair and everything. I caught myself going to the store to give me some coffee, and that rain just said, fuck them curls. So, with that being said, these curls have been fucked, but... It's okay. Nevertheless, we're still here in present. <laughs> okay, family. Before we get started, Heavenly Father, I thank you right now for my beautiful, powerful Sagittarius. I thank you for their life. I thank you for their purpose. I thank you for their divine being. Heavenly Father, I ask you to protect our Sagittarius. Anything that they're going through, give them clarity and understanding. Give them the power they need to be victorious. Victory is our portion. We walk in and we receive it. Amen. All right, family. So today is going to be what's coming next, okay? Uh, we've been having a lot of powerful energy around us, and I'm hoping that you guys are still saying your affirmations um, from that new moon we had up until 21 days. We have... Uh, we have a couple more days left, a few more days left, so we want to continue to say those. If you don't know what they are, it's, um, I surrender to wealth, I surrender to success, I surrender to divine time. And we say those things three times in the morning, six times in the afternoon, and nine times at night to bring that manifestation uh, quicker. So let's get into this energy. Heavenly Father, what is coming next for our beautiful Sagittarius? Message is 11, right? Messages of love and light. Ooh. Oh, Sagittarius. What the hell is going on here? All these damn cards just falling out. Okay, I'm going to take the, the four. <laughs> so the first card we have is courtship. Okay, Sagittarius. So I feel like right now, uh, that could be an energy of someone wanting to court you, someone wanting to take you out, pretty much just wanting to get to know you. They're looking for something stable, something solid. I feel that this is somebody that is wanting a relationship. And Sagittarius, you may be kind of iffy on if you want to give this person uh, your time. Uh, it could because maybe you're not as, as drawn to them as you would like to be, but there is an opportunity for dating. So you might be dating at this time and somebody that you're dating is really wanting to be a part of your world. Then we have court, courthouse. So with the courthouse, this could be, you could be for, for some of you Sagittarius, you could be kind of shaky on dating this person because they could already be married or they could be going to a, uh, going through a, a divorce. Also, this could be somebody that is ready for marriage and they're ready for a massive change and they want you to be their person. I feel like this person could be coming on kind of strong or really quick and you, and that's what's kind of pulling you back. Like, wait, you move it a little too fast for me, bro. So that might be the issue coming up. The next thing we have is the house. Wait, first of all, collective, let me just say, this is some really fast moving energy. We got four or five. Okay, so it's like somebody been dating you. They probably ain't been dating you that long, or if they have been, they're ready to get married. And this person is ready, like the house means somebody's ready to move you in. Somebody is ready to be in a solid commitment. I feel like this could be taking you by surprise. There's a lot of change happening. And I feel like for some of you guys, it's, it's kind of overwhelming Sagittarius at this time. And then uh, the next card is marriage. So somebody is really, really trying to lock you down. Somebody is trying to change the whole dynamic of this situation. This is... Yeah, this is a lot of change happening in your love life, Sagittarius. If you are married, I mean, I feel like you've dated somebody. And for some of you, Sagittarius, this is... Some of you, Sagittarius, look, you are... Okay. I got like two mess, two, three messages. Why does... Man, I wish my curls had a stayed in. This is bothering me, family. Anyway. <laughs> See, if I just kept my head bald head, I wouldn't have to worry about none of this. Anyway. For some, for some of you Sagittarius, you are married. And I feel like you could be married and dating somebody else. And I feel like uh, while you're dating, you could be wanting to uh, get a divorce and kind of like go into a relationship with somebody else or move into a home with somebody else. Also, I feel like this could be you wanting, uh, for, for the ones that are not uh, married, I feel like this could be somebody that you're dating. They're really thinking about marrying you. They want something changed. They want, to, want you to move in and they want to buy a new house. They want to move in and they really want you to be theirs oh spirit can we break this down please mm. messages love and life for my beautiful Sag <laughs> Sagittarius so we got the knight of wands so I feel like Sagittarius this could be you 
or this could be a person, but I figure for the ones that are already in a commitment that's dating outside of their main uh, person, uh, now the, the Knight of Wands is very passionate energy. This is an in and out energy. This is an energy of wanting a passionate night, a wild night, you know, like this is like, um, they call it the playboy energy or because this is a female of the playgirl energy. So I feel like you just really, you out here dating, you could be in a commitment, but it's like, you're really not, um, satisfied in whatever commitment you're in Sagittarius. And right now I feel like the this situation ship, this courtship could be an off and on type of thing where it's like, you know, you go get your rocks off and then you come back and then it's like a back and forth type of thing. And I feel like because uh, if these are for the ones that are married, I feel like you're, you're trying to debate on if you want to stay in the commitment that you are or do you want to stay free like a wild bird stallion or something. The message is a loving like, dang. Yeah, right now, I feel like you're trying to or you're trying to see what is it that you truly desire with this courthouse thing. Because I feel like if you're with somebody, I feel like you're you're, you're stepping out. You're not faithful, Sagittarius. Ain't gonna lie to you. This is if you marry. I feel like you dating other people and you're trying to you're trying to see if you really want to have this marriage that you in because it don't seem like it's satisfying because you out and about doing you you and, and I feel like with this four of uh, ones this is like the illusion of you the four of ones in the back to have fire coming out this is like an illusion like you like you appear to have this this family like you want this family dynamic or this stable home but the truth is you are a wild fire <laughs> you just so Hey, no judgment zone. You feel me? Do what you want to do. But yeah, and I feel like with this eight of ones, you're trying to itemize. See, okay, what is it that I really want? What do I like about this situation? What do I like about my marriage? I feel like you're in a you're in like a hangman position, trying to figure out what is it that you really want from from a particular situation. Mm. Should I take these? Yeah. I see right now we have the nine of swords that came out. So the nine of swords is right here. It's saying something like something at your home is not is keeping you up at night. So if you are in a home dynamic and you are sharing this this homeship with a married person, I mean because you're married with somebody else, I feel like uh, it's not satisfying. I feel like either y'all sex life or you and your and your husband or partner wife, it's not satisfying. That's the reason why you having these urges to move around. And it's like now you're trying to see what is it that I really want? Do I really want this person that I'm stepping out on my uh, husband and my wife with, or do I really want you know something new? I feel like you have an energy of being afraid, Sagittarius. You're afraid of losing what you have to go towards something that you're not sure is going to be there. And it's like um. I ain't gonna lie, Sag, you feel like a little selfish ass energy because it's like if you if you're not content where you at, like I feel like you should you should do whatever the fuck you wanna do. It's your life. But because it's my channel, I'm gonna say something. I don't feel I feel like you're gonna receive karma if you don't do if you don't at least express what's going on with your mate because karma comes back good or bad and if and, and the thing is if you're still playing the strings playing both sides you know because it's like right now out here you out here living la vida loca you're still doing you dating fucking and i feel like you have a a, a a marriage at home and maybe like i say i feel like maybe uh the, the the money isn't right maybe somebody isn't bringing in enough funds maybe uh you feel like you're doing all the work maybe the sex isn't isn't uh isn't good in the home so you're trying so you're going elsewhere to get that but with the world card spirit says in order for you to want something new you have to let go of something to start something new and because if you don't and you keep playing both sides this could bring about bad karma and we don't want no stinking bad karma Messages of love and life for my beautiful Sagittarius. What's coming next? Mm -hmm. Spirit, what's coming next for my beautiful Sagittarius? I feel like Sagittarius look like you're trying to work on something with this house, with this home dynamic. I feel like you, you're in your mind, you trying to work on your marriage. In your mind, <laughs> why I say in your mind? Because in your mind, I feel like you are really trying to work on whatever the, the home situation that you are currently in. And, and I feel like, but it's like every time you try to work on it, you fall into this kind of depression, depression like state because you are not receiving what you want. 
And I feel like when it's dealing with this marriage, you are in and out of the marriage. Like you are the one that's, you know, like you, you're in it and then you're out because you're going other places. And it's like, Spirit says, there's something, there's something new that needs to transpire in, in this life. And Spirit says, if you want something new in your marriage, you're going to have to let go of your side pieces. If you don't want your marriage, then you need to go for it there because I feel, I really do feel like some karma might be coming back to you. So then, like, I feel like this, if you if you let go of a situation or, like, you're trying to work on your family now, I feel like whoever this is that you were dating, they're watching you, they're lightweight stalking you because um, it feels like a, a, a sexual relationship with this other person, you know, and it's like... Uh, and I feel like you you pull back and then you come forward. So it's like you're keeping both parties like antsy, like up on their toes. Like, well, maybe you come back, whatever. But they're watching you. And also with this courthouse trying to decide, this is not talking, not dealing, hurt, avoiding conversation, still anger. So I feel like somebody isn't communicating. If, if this is you not communicating with the person you're dating or with the person that you're living with or married to, uh, like it, it's like somebody is hurt. And it's like they, they, it's like not wanting to talk about the situation because it's going to bring about uh, pain. I feel like for some of you, it's just like an energy of, I don't want to deal with it, you know, fuck it. And then the, the hard, the crazy part about it, I feel like your mate on the other end be like, I don't want to know if you're playing me, keep it on the low. Cause my heart can't take it anymore. Some type of shit. You ain't got to tell me. I'm going to know. And I'm going to drop that ass like a hot fucking pancake. I ain't going to lie to you. All right. Then we have um, heart with the key. Welcoming and love. Meeting the one. Opening heart. Getting together. Perfect. Okay. I'm getting the energy for some of you Sagittarius that there is somebody new that you really want to move towards. But it's like you don't want to hurt uh, the person that you've been with. It's like a energy of being stuck. Like you stuck in being unhappy, but then you're stuck and worried about how the other person is going to feel because you're ready to leave a particular situation. I just got to say this, you better do what's best for you because if you if you stay and you're not happy just to prevent them from hurting, they still hurt because they're in a situation where you're not fully giving to them. You're not fully attentive to them and it's not fair and you will still receive karma. So with that, Sagittarius, you take that information as you see fit, but whatever it is. So what's, and then we have sedu uh, seduction. I feel like right now your person could feel that you are, that you are moving away from them. And now they're, they're actively trying to keep you. Uh, I feel like your person is about to start trying to do extra stuff, like different things that they haven't done before. And this could be some stuff that you've been trying to get them to do. And now it's like, no, you know what? I am not about to leave my lose my Sagittarius to no fucking side piece. So I feel like if you are in this commitment and like you off and on, they know clearly. But I feel like they're about to start doing extraordinary things to keep you because they like they're not about to lose you to no nobody. All right, Sagittarius, that's all I've got. If that resonated, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification button. <laughs> I love you guys. If you guys want personal readings, uh, my email will be in the description below. And if you want to donate to this beautiful channel, that information will be in the description below as well. Have a wonderful day. I love you guys. Love yourself.